Greetings, fellow wine sippers, connoisseurs, enthusiasts. I'm Johnny Blanco, and I'm going to give you my opinion on uh, a wine today. Today's spotlight is on, I've done a Francis Coppola wine before. This one is a Claret Cabernet Sauvignon. Bam! Now this one is what I call clear Hollywood. He put on his Hollywood right here. You see the gold uh, wrapping here. Now this is probably my toughest review that I've done. Primarily because it says Claret on the front. Now I just happen to know a little bit about wine and Claret means a red wine from the Bordeaux region of France. So I'm thinking, hey, wow. Even though it's clearly says California on the front, but it's in little small fine print. But that's on all of the labels. So I turn it over to the back and I see vented and bottled California. I'm a little bummed, but I'm still glasses half full type person. So I pour it. Immediately I see that it is opaque. I like. I get a rush of, of fragrances, but since I'm thinking this Bordeaux, I'm thinking it's got to be left bank. It's got to be, it's got to be, is it left bank or is it right bank? Um, I see the, the legs starting to form. I, I'm in a rush to drink it. So I, I rush to drink it and immediately I, I get a couple things. One, this is definitely, the tannin is full body for sure. And this is not a hundred dollar bottle of wine, but it pretends to be really good. It, uh, uh, another thing that stood out to me is that the alcohol content. Now, labeling laws allows for one up or one down, and this is 13.5. I'm going to guess that this is probably 14. Uh, but for those who are not connoisseurs and don't expect for a $100 bottle of wine, this is your drink. If someone comes over and I'm entertaining some guests that aren't quite wine is that a real word? Can I make that my word? I can uh, pour some of this and maybe they'll think they got a $100 bottle of wine. I suggest it.